Okay guys, welcome back to Heavyweight Camping again. Still at Nathan Bedford Forest State Park. I'm filming a bit of a series, a uh, top five or uh, five things to think about to bring when you're camping. Uh, you know, just some sharing some of the knowledge that I've learned along the way and uh, thought about there were some things that I could talk about that may help somebody out that uh, I've learned through trial and error over the last few years of uh, family camping. So uh, this time I'm going to talk about your top five things for uh, food and hygiene, let's call it. So number one is a good camp stove. Coleman makes a very varied line of great camp stoves. Camp Chef makes some great camp stoves. Uh, there's a ton of camp stoves on the market. Do your research and get one that's worth having. Um, I, I started out with an Ozark Trail from Walmart and it was fine. Um, it wasn't enough for what I wanted to do. Uh, I was a chef for a long time and I wanted more option, I wanted more availability, I wanted more versatility. So I spent the extra money on a really good high-end uh, Coleman camp grill. It's got a lot of high output and uh, it was well worth it. So a good camp stove. You know, you don't have to go crazy for your first one. If you're not the kind of family that cooks a ton, uh, not really that important. If you're just going to be doing burgers and hot dogs, you can use the fire pit that comes at the campsites or the campgrounds or, or whatever. Uh, they're perfectly adequate. Like I said in the previous video, they're not the greatest, but they work. So, uh, but that's for me, I, I really enjoy having a camp stove, especially for making breakfast and stuff like that. A really good number one on that, that list for, for cooking and hygiene type stuff. Um, number two is going to be a bit of an optional thing. Um, it was something that, that I got because it gave me other alternatives for other events and other things that I wanted to do. It, it's a portable grill. Uh, I got a char broil, I think is what it's called, uh, a little infrared grill that runs off propane and you can use the little one pound bottles or you can get the, the cord or the, uh, the hose like I got and use the big 20 pound propane tanks. Um, it has been a godsend to have that little grill uh, when I'm camping. Now, if, if we don't have a fire or, or if we've just got done setting up and we really want to have something warm and inviting to eat. Uh, it's great for good, doing burgers and dogs real quick, but it's also great to have at the house if I don't want to fire up my charcoal grill. Uh, for taking day trips, uh, we go to different national parks and, and look at other campsites to look for, for camping in the future. Uh, and it's amazing to be able to sit down and have a cheeseburger uh, fresh off the grill just from a day trip instead of having to go out to eat. Uh, especially with things the way they are, restaurants are, are getting fewer and far between because of all the stuff going on in our nation right now um, uh, with, with the pandemic and things of that nature. So being able to cook your own meal wherever you want, whenever you want, is, is a really useful thing to have. So that's a really good number two. And again, it's an optional thing, but it, it's something that I have found has been really worth it. Uh, number three is probably the most important thing I would say is a good hand washing station. Uh, there's all kinds of portable water containers that have spouts on them. Walmart's got them. All the sporting goods shops have them. You can get them on all kinds of places like Amazon online. Uh, having a good water container with some pump soap or a bar soap or a way to wash your hands in your campsite where you're cooking or where, where the kids are playing is crucial. And doesn't hurt to have a bottle of disinfectant gel on top of the container there too. Uh, you, you can't be too careful. I, I don't like to get too crazy about germs and blah blah. You're out in nature and, and you're gonna get dirty and that's part of it. But uh, especially if you've got the kids with you, having a place to wash your hands or when you're doing food prep uh, is very valuable and I consider it to be a very important thing. Uh, and we have, have loved having that at our ready without having to go up to the bathhouse every time to wash your hands it just makes it way better so uh, that's a good number three that's the sanitary part obviously um, my number four is another optional but a fire pit 
you can buy a propane fed fire pit in case you live in a place where you're not allowed to have fires a lot if you're in the midwest or southwest where you're in arid arid climates in arizona texas that kind of thing new mexico having a, a, a propane fire pit would be really cool i brought i bought one uh that's a wood burning fire pit uh, i did do a review on my channel about that it has a little battery pack on it and it circulates air through it um it's been really useful when i don't want to use the big fire pits here at the, the campground and i just want to have a smaller fire and i want to conserve the wood that i've brought maybe i didn't have a lot that trip uh makes it really handy that and you can use it if you want to go to a friend's house and have a fire you want to have a fire at the house it's a little portable fire pit that is versatile and, and useful it's got a grate on top maybe you can there's all kinds of different options mine has a little grill top i can cook on it if i want to um, multiple options for cooking and fire are always a good thing so that'd be a really solid number four and a number five for me uh, it, it comes down to being organized more than anything is a kitchen tote buy a tote that you house all of your cooking and and cleaning utensils and items in paper towels pots and pans uh, cleaning stuff forks and knives you, you know you want to buy a fork and knife kit you want to buy a little plastic box full of forks and knives and spoons whatever you can keep your coffee making materials in there all your kitchen related stuff in one tote in one place where you can organize it and have it add on hand really makes all the difference for your own sanity more than anything you know where your stuff is you can grab it all you know where it's all going to be at when you need it and uh, it really goes a long way for your personal sanity uh, when you're out there camping in larger groups especially so that's my top five for cooking and uh, sanitary type things just a general type of thing there for cooking uh, again prepping ahead of time for meals is a really big game changer don't try to do too much at the campsite you know bring a cutting board that would be probably if I had to make a number six a cutting board would be a really useful thing to have uh, and you know obviously some knives but uh, you don't have to do all your prep at the campsite and you probably won't want to and I'm sure a lot of you will be drinking I don't drink myself anymore um, but making it easy doing all your stuff that you can do ahead of time having it in a bag that you can dump into a skillet or uh, shish kebabs that you've already made that you can just throw on the grill you know uh, that really makes a, a world of difference when you're out at the campsite uh, for getting meals ready again especially if you're in a bigger group and you're trying to feed a bunch of people it goes a long way so that's my top five for cooking and for keeping clean <laughs> uh, thanks again for stopping by guys I really appreciate it Please don't forget to show me some love, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go on all my other platforms. I'm on TikTok and Instagram, so I'd really appreciate it. Be doing me a big favor. Thanks again.